Welcome back to Lone Oak Farm 17 for episode 41 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Okay, I've bought the T9 over. Um, and so one of our contracts for Al that's doing nefarious activities in the woods uh, on field 52, he wants it organic. He wants um, all seed radish. He wants pig slurry and pig manure. Now we've got, I'm just going to check every time, uh, I'm pretty sure as far as pig slurry goes, we're golden. Uh, we are looking at liquid manure for the pigs, 106,000 litres we've got. We've got 55,000 litres of manure, so I think we're going to be alright for that. What I'm going to do is slurry spread that field first. Now, uh, here's two things I'm not sure about at the moment. I bought the T9 over. One, I don't know if this is empty. If it's not empty, I might have to slurry on another field to empty it because I've got to use it. It's very specific. It's got to be pig slurry. And that'll be digestating that that was bought over from the BGA. Um, so I'm fingers crossed it's empty because I can't remember whether I used it all or not. Um, secondly, I don't know if this is going to be too wide to fit in field 52 between the fence lines. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a big test. Now, the other thing I've done my contract that I got in the last episode with Big Papa C for 35,000 litres of corn and 40,000 litres of barley his payment offered was um, a muck spreader and $25,000 well I had a look and I think I said in the last episode the muck spreaders are quite expensive so what I've decided to do and I'm, I'm hoping he's okay with it and I'm, I'm just waiting delivery now is if we look in the store I'm, I'm, I can't remember if I did this in the last episode um, I'm not going to go for the massive one. I, I did, didn't I, when I was going through the poplars. Uh, 87,000 for the Stroutman PS3401. So what I've decided to do is go halves. So rather than him paying me in that and $25,000, he'll just pay for half of that. So that works out at, what, $43,500. And I've paid the, the rest. So that's why the money's gone down again. We're down to 260000 Okay, so I've paid half, he's paid half. That to me sounds like a fair deal, really. For 35,000 litres of corn, 40,000 litres of barley, um, he'll pay me 40,000. 43 and a half. Um, rather than 87,000 plus 25,000 on top, which seems a lot to me. So we've decided to split. So we're just waiting on the delivery of that. That should be arriving at the store. I've taken down the, um, uh -oh, the Challenger. Uh, I'm just getting right. The MT875E, is that what we went with? Was it 875? The numbers elude me at the moment. Uh, so we're heading over to the pig farm. And hopefully. Oh, I just hooked up and I was so busy talking. I look, yeah, zero, it's empty. I, <laughs> there's me going, oh, I'm so worried in case it's full. I didn't even look. I was so busy talking about the contracts, I didn't even look. But yeah, we're on zero, so that's all good. The weird thing is, when I finished using that, I don't remember, oh, it seems like such a long time ago, what was in it, what wasn't in it. I, I can put soy in the little field here as well. It's going to be a lot of soy uh, seeding, planting. Uh, where are we going? It's round on the side, isn't it? A few little bits of snow that haven't quite gone yet. There's quite a pile of manure there, actually. Yeah, so I thought I'd slurry first and then cultivate it, or I could seed straight in. I'm not too sure what to do at the moment. I hope it's going to work. Let's back to right. Oh yes, fantastic. So that's for that. A little bit of gentle sway. Always a good sign. Nice pigs are doing well. They seem happy. As far as pigs go, we are still reproducing at a rate of knots. We're on 140. I'm trying to think how many wood did we own in the first place. We had 125, so we're up to 15 now. So 15 new pigs that we'll be able to sell. That's going to carry on. And as far as um, sheep, we've got 16 new ones, I think, according to that. 
so uh, yeah it's all going really well we are getting a lot of new animals still nothing on reproduction for the cows yet because they're not really in their their season for it yeah I don't think seems to be taking a long time to fill up oh, busy there. so test number two Will this even open out in that field? I really hope so. So, um, RDR2 went live today. Plus it's Fact Sheet Friday. Um, I haven't done a mud running video for the last two days. Because um, I've put up about seven or eight videos in about three days. I think I swamped people. Um, people were struggling. I know a lot of people say to me they'll watch one of my videos and they kind of have a schedule every day they'll get in they'll watch a video and you know it fits in what they're doing half hour 40 minutes and I think because I put up about seven eight I have many videos it was over a few days people just couldn't keep up um, and very kindly a lot of people that are watching my family some videos have been watching the Mudrunner ones which is great thanks for that guys I really do appreciate it um, so I haven't done another one yet but I will do I know lots of people have put up Mudrunner videos especially with the American Worlds um, DLC expansion um, out and mine will just be another one in the crowd but it will just be me playing it and my usual you know my usual waffle and stuff that I do um, but Red Dead Redemption 2 I put it on this morning because it was loading up during the night and uh, it looks impressive stuff it really does I don't think I'm going to do any videos in it though I think I'm just going to play that for me I think taking longer to get here than I thought mind you I suppose these fields now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the muck spreader I'm going to get some manure in it normal manure because I don't have to worry too much about that at the moment uh, and all the areas that I at the end of the last episode I've started ploughing I have ploughed it all in now so all the gaps between those fields I was going to put together 44, 45, 49 and 53 is it? As you can see directly in front of me here. Whoa, don't go too far. That's been ploughed, the gap between here as well. So what I'm going to do is come along. I'm going to muck spread the gaps because obviously they're not going to have any fertiliser state on them, whereas the others will have. <clears throat> then I'm going to come along and cultivate those all in. And then we'll be ready for tomorrow when we're actually in the planting season uh, for soy. And we're going to get a load of soy put in and we'll then we'll do a load of corn. So yeah, a few jobs, this is all field prep. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> Actually, it looks... Mm, it's going to be pretty close, I have to say. If I put this slap bang in the middle and start off with, then fingers crossed. We're okay. I really hope this works. Or it's going to be one of those annoying things where it fits, and then you've got a tiny gap down the side. Now I'm going to have to do an entire run down the side just for that tiny gap yeah it is isn't it it's going to be a well at least it fits that's the main thing I thought I'd have to lease another uh, another slurry spreader so this is the first one then for Al of his organic corn so what I'll probably do is get as far as the, this will go and then what I'll do when I get to the end and it stops against the fence I'll turn it around and do the gap in between then I'll just run up the side and do this little strip here. The 30,000 litres should last fine, actually. We shouldn't run out. Brilliant. I was I was really concerned I was going to get up here and this would be too wide and it wouldn't work. So that saved us a real load of grief. Right, stop there. So we can spin this round in the field without making too much of a hatch of it. And just line up my uh, previous tracks will be fine. It's the usual camera wobble you get with the uh, articulated tractors. It tends to go a little bit all over the place. That looks about right to me. Let's back that up. And give that a bit of a run forward from there. Fantastic. Now let's snake this back. Let's try and get that 
lined up as best we can. Need to get the cab lined up to again. Okay then. That should be alright. Will it do it? It will. Nice! Okay, well that'll be that one done at least. So we'll get in here with the cultivator, cultivate this, and then that'll be ready for corn once we get into the planting season for corn. Now, oh no, all seed, oh, I've got to do radish first, haven't I? Actually, I wonder if I can seed straight, I said I need to uh, lease, why did that not do that bit? Right, swing that around just to the last bit. Um, yeah, I've got to do all seed radish, haven't I? So I need to get a small seed that will do all seed radish, but it needs to be one that doesn't fertilise as well because I can't use any artificial fertilisers so it's got to be just the seed and nothing else put the radish in and then at the first growth stage as that pops up cultivate that in yeah okay and then I can stick manure down later on and there we have it well there we go that worked a lot better than I thought it would Happy days. So, hopefully, by now, the muck spreader will have been delivered. Uh, and it's all those kind of tiny little things that need to fall into place. I'll pick it up and I'll take it to Send Stocks Organics. Because the Stroutman muck spreader is a standard in game one, it should fill up with muck from the manure by point without the need of the fill trigger conveyor. If it won't fill up, then I'll just bring the conveyor over from the store and uh, we'll go from there. That's probably the best thing I can do. I, you know. We'll try it and we'll see how we get on. We'll come up and we'll do all these little gaps. I went around the low oak very carefully. There's a nice little circle of grass, a, a patch around it. Don't want that going anywhere. I did have a comment left uh, quite a while ago now. Someone messaged and said, why haven't you cut it down? Why? <laughs> because it's the lone oak. You don't do that. It would be a travesty. I can't have things like that, man. Right, OK. So, that's that bit done anyway. Right. Um... I have got another contract came in from Harry. It's actually Dynamite Games sent me a little scenario for 15,000 litres of corn, but I'll go into more detail on that at a later date. We don't have to worry about that moment. Right, let's go to the store and pick up this muck spreader. Right, so, all hooked up and ready to go by the look of it. So, yeah, we've gone for the Stroutman Strooblitz. Stroy Blitz, wow. Stroy Blitz, PS3401, 3401. I don't think, I'm racking my brains, I don't think I've ever used this, as far as I can recall, on any of them. I've used smaller ones, and I've used that massive one on Sussex, which was just brilliant. The Gregoire, is it Gregoire Besson? No. Carol Nicola, oh. Oh, Brocard. What's the any of those? Uh, yeah, the Brocard. I used that on um, Sussex, and that thing is just awesome. Loved it. Right, so let's see then. If this will fill up directly, or do I need to bring over the. Uh, Still trigger conveyor belt. Fingers crossed. Whether I need to back it up or Let's 
seeing what happens, shall we? L3? Hmm, okay. That's weird, because it's a... Uh, Then came much better. Why would that not work? Wanted to be next to it or something? Without crashing into anything. So I don't want to pull out onto the road. This is traffic coming, I can see it. I'm going to get crashed into again. That always happens. Like that. Oh, that won't fill up. What? What is going on? Okay then, well maybe we need to get the fuel trigger. Okay. That's not what I was hoping for, but it is what it is. Let's just drop that there. Spin this bad boy round. Wait for the traffic to clear. Do -do -do -do. bit more on the uh, Millennial Farmer front. They uh, used up all of their hours they were allowed to on the uh, uh, Challenger. That will go back to Agco. In the last episode I watched they were harvesting and they were using back on their uh, John Deere uh, tract tractors and one of the things they were comparing the two, Zach, the guy that does Millennial Farmer, was comparing them and saying that you know there's a lot of things he really really liked about the uh, Challenger, um, but one thing he did say about the John Deere, the track John Deere's, is they've got a real lot of grunt, a lot of torque behind them. Going up hills, certain hills, the um, Challenger lost a bit of speed. Not that it struggled, but um, he said it's got very good traction and whatnot. But he said the John Deere's just seem to have a little bit more grunt to them, a bit more torque. So. There you go. Nice few interesting little facts there. They're not far off finishing harvest now, actually, I think. They're on their last few fields around their main farm, and they'll be done. Whoa, I thought he was turning. He is, because he's indicating. Now I've got to wait for the traffic. Great. Two. Seriously? Yeah, two behind me. Brilliant. I'll just pull out into the traffic. Some people just rude, just rude. Now, I don't know with all the new fangled stuff that's going on with FS19, all the seat suspension, and the fact that the characters inside when you're looking from outside, you'll be able to see them moving and changing gear and doing all the things. Are we going to have from in cab, you know, the control columns and stuff as you're accelerating? Are they going to be moving forward? Will you get the pedal movement from inside? I don't, I'm not quite sure how all that's going to work actually. Just realised that's the wrong way around, didn't I? Detach it, move that out of the way. Let's jump out a second. Let's reorganise this. Turn it on. Swing it round. Right, so L3 fills it up. Actually, I would do have been at a bit more of an angle that way. Ooh. Turn the engine off. Right. So, what should happen now then is when I back this up, it should go into it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Come on. So most of this episode is going to be me sitting waiting in traffic, or waiting for traffic. Now, can I do this with mirrors? <laughs> Probably not. Cool, that's a bit tricky, isn't it? Because I cannot see the conveyor belt at all. Right, it is filling. Fantastic.
Now it does what it always does with the filter and conveyor belt. It does what's on the belt and then you have to jump back in it. Just press L3 and then it will carry on doing what it needs to do. There we go. Right, we are filling up. This holds 35,000 litres or is it 34 because it's PS34. Let's have a look. I'm sure it was 35, wasn't it? Uh, it's up from the right one. 32, okay. Destroy bits and all that. So, let's jump up. It's going to take a little while to fill this up. Maybe we can speed this up a tad. Well, that took way longer than I thought it was going to. <laughs> but for you, it would have been sped up. That took quite a while. Okay, 32,000 litres. Let's get this turned. Now, for my soybean contract, I was thinking, actually, there's a lot of field around the edge. I've, I've utilised some of it in the, the uh, earlier episodes when I was doing my first year's seeding and harvesting and planting and whatnot but there's a lot of it I haven't utilised so I'm wondering whether or not I could get around some of those edges and just get soy in every spare field I possibly can you know I'm incredibly concerned about not um, not having enough right cruise control on beacons on where we go it's got a beacon on it no it is ok so Zoom back in a bit. Um, reading the forums and some more interesting tidbits that came up the other day. Um, interestingly, someone was commenting about um, manure and the fact that only the pigs and the cows produce it and wouldn't it be about time we started getting it from sheep? And there were a couple of comments people saying, oh, don't be so ridiculous, um, sheep don't produce manure. And then there were some comments left from some, from some guys from some Scandinavian countries and was it Canada? I can't remember. There were some other countries where people had said it might have been Ireland, might have been one of them. I can't remember now. In the winter months, a lot of these farmers that are sheep farmers, they bring them into big sheep sheds. They have they bring them in from the cold, um, and they have straw on the floor, and um, they do actually produce manure. Um, I know, like sheep. This is really weird conversation to have. But sheep who is smaller pellets and things like that, rather than kind of the muck that the pigs and stuff produce. Um, but it does still mix in. But apparently, something to do with the way a sheep digests its food, um, and I suppose because it's in a more pellet form rather than kind of just it comes out all spread low place, it's very low odour, apparently. It doesn't smell as bad. So sheep manure isn't as smelly. From what I gather, reading on the forums, um, how much truth there is to all that, I'm not too sure, but yeah, it's fascinating. So it's an interesting one, but I suppose because in game uh, the sheep are out in fields, they're not kept indoors in barns. I suppose that's why they didn't go down the uh, manure route for sheep, but um, yeah, just uh, thought that was an interesting little thing that I found out. I do find it fascinating going through the forums. I'll go through as regularly as I possibly can to kind of keep up with what's going on. Um, because what you often find is people will ask questions and the guys from Giants um, will jump on every now and again and they will answer comments um, uh, Lysa Tan will go on um, and there will be other guys from, from the team that will pop on every now and again and will leave comments and responses to, to various questions so it's always good to get on there, have a look through um, because then certain questions get asked that you, you might have been thinking oh actually I wonder if um, that said, when the game releases on the 20th, I'm sure most of it I will have forgotten. So I'll be like everybody. I suppose it's that weird thing that it doesn't matter how long you've been playing the game for, and here comes that word again, we're all going to be noobs again, aren't we? Because we're going to be back to that. There's going to be a lot of assumptions of things we think we know and that should work a certain way and have always done on, on uh, 17. But there may be sort of subtle changes and things that on 19 we're all going to be fairly, you know, unsure, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. I don't know. We'll see. Now, I can't remember what the spread was on this. Let's turn it on. 
unfold it? Wow. Oh. Whoa, there's like a trap. That's cool. No, I definitely haven't used this one before. Let's get going. So this should actually just about go over that. Which will be quite handy. Yeah, so that will fill the gap. So I'm going to do that. Oh, I hope I don't run out too quickly. Otherwise it means going all the way back to pick up some more. I'm trying to work out a way of doing that. Whether or not I might be able to load up like the uh, BSM, the 70,000. Bring it over. It just means having a huge pile of manure somewhere. Because there's not a manure storage facility, I don't think. I know, uh, um, luckily, on Sussex Farm, the silos, you could put manure into the silos, and that was perfect. You could bring it all over from the purchase point and store it in silos, which was just absolutely brilliant. Such a clever idea of Jim's. Um, so, yeah, that worked out really well. So if I turn this corner without missing too much, and then I'll come back and fill in any gaps that I've missed. So I'm sure I will. And then, like I say, this will get cultivated in. So I join all the fields up properly. And I shouldn't have any gaps with fertilising, in theory. Now some of these bits where I've gone over the edges, I don't need to actually um, muck spread those because those would have already been done as part of the field fertilising. Turn it off. Go back up the other way. So there should only be then the strip to the top, past the lone oak, and then the strip down the other side of 49, which uh, marries up with field 53, as far as I recall. Cruise control on. Do it from here to grab this bit. There we go, because I missed that bit originally. Not sure I don't miss me, I've gone over a little bit more. Get a bit of manure around the lone oak, help it to grow nicely. It's probably been there hundreds of years already. I'm thinking, fingers crossed, I might be able to get down the other side without running out. That would be nice. Yeah, we might be alright on this, you know. Let's shut it off there. A bit closer to the flinger. Just interested to see that working. Actually, I should have gone a bit closer on that before. And then this job will be done. Then I'll be looking at a smaller cedar planter to get the all seed radish in the ground that doesn't fertilise as well. Let's just turn it on, like so. So it's hard to see actually. It's only when you turn it off, those two discs that are underneath there that are flicking it all out. Can we get close enough in to see them actually operating? Oh, a little bit, there you go. Right in the. Uh... Oh, hang on. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be golden. Oh, that's good. This has lasted a lot longer than I thought it would actually. I thought it was going to run out really quickly. And we'd have to go back. Oh yeah, I've missed a pepper. <laughs> it's actually the perfect width. Come on, 12,000 litres. We can do this. Beacon can go off. Actually, don't need those anymore. Oh, I can replenish this. Um, actually, no. I need to empty it, won't I? Because what I'll do is, when I have to do the uh, the muck spreading for field 52 here, that's got to be pig slurry. So, uh, pig manure. So I need to use this last 10,000 litres somewhere. Uh, close that. No. Oh, muck it. Close it. <laughs> Wrong button. Oh, there you go. Use a little bit of it. 
Um, yeah, I'll need to use that somewhere so I don't cross-contaminate my manures. I don't know where um, Sengstock's Organics get their manure from, so I can't put it on that field and tell um, tell Al it's fine, it's okay, it's definitely pig manure because I don't know. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. And it be, uh, I mean, it would be a fib, wouldn't it? So, all seed radish up in field 52. Cultivate in this. Those are the next two things that need to be done. I can find a home for this. Which isn't going to be as easy because I think I've got most of the... Uh, most of the barn spaces have got things in now. Maybe into the main... The main hangar. I'll make it smell a bit in here, but let's tuck it in. One of these, one of these alcoves, just for the time being. So it's kind of out of the way. Without hitting the wall. Whoops. Actually, that's not too bad. That's pretty much out of the way. Um, so, cultivate uh, the Bednar Swifter. Where is it? It's about... Now, you've seen me use the cultivator a few times now. So I'll probably start off and then I'll finish that bit off screen. And then we'll sort out a cedar and we'll get field 52 with all seed radish in. It is now 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm trying to think now realistically. don't think really we've got many jobs left to do today. So then what might happen is uh, it will be late spring. And then we'll be uh, cracking on with getting uh, all the seeding done. Seeding and planting. Planting of corn. Seeding of soybean. Or planting... Yeah. No, I always get it wrong. So let's open this out. That's interesting. Could miss that bit. Cultivate this bit too. I wonder why that's leaving bits. Should be a really obvious answer to that, but I can't think why it could be. It's leaving a bit either side. Oh, is that because those two fills are already at maximum? Oh, that should, it should still cultivate that in, shouldn't it? Oh, when I come to seeding, it will sort that out. So let's check the map. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's see if we can work this out. We're on field 4445. Yeah. I don't know, see. No idea. Cruise control on. And like I said, I'll do this bit off screen now, so I'm going to go down around and do these strips. <coughs> Excuse me. He's doing some of it, but not all of it. I am very confused. Never mind. I can always come back and check it. It's not going to do it any harm, is it? Let's be honest. Um, and I'll uh, I'll see you when that's done, and we'll sort out a cedar planter.
after some rechecking, it dawned on me. The Great Plains Y... Can't I remember its number? It's the Y something. Every single time, it's the Y... Why don't I give his names rather than numbers? The YP2425A. 24, uh, that will do um, oil seed radish. And I know that the um, slurry spreader will fit in that field, so this definitely will. Um, now, how about something I forgot as well? Because I've been using this as our intermediary filled f seed tank. I didn't actually fill this up. I think to do that filled up there, we weren't, we're not going to need the actual the big seed tank. So what we're going to do is hopefully back this up into the seed refill point because this doesn't fertilise as well which is brilliant I say it's brilliant generally speaking it's not brilliant but for what we need to do for this it's perfect now I can't remember where that seed bag's gone sorry the camera's going a bit funny again isn't it I'm assuming it's taken it from the bag Oop. The bags are on the floor, but it could be taking it from anywhere. No, it's taking money, so it's not. Oh, seriously. Oh, it's still doing it. Oh, I'll just have to. I'll pay for this load. I mean, in the day, I'll pay for the seed bags, I've paid for it, it doesn't matter. I should have left the seed bags outside, then it wouldn't have been a problem. I thought I'd take them in, put them by the seed, that way I know where they are. But trying to actually isolate them... It's a lot harder than you think. A lot harder than it should be, anyway. I love that. It's all cap bouncing. Right, we're there. 5,800 litres. Awesome. Let's make sure we're fully out before I try and turn. So that's the things I'm looking forward to. Being able to do this view and seeing the bounce in the seat. Being able to see the driver, you know, changing gears. Now, it took both hands on the wheel, but I wonder if... I'm trying to remember back to footage I've seen already whether the driver's holding the controller as well so you actually see that move I can't remember I think maybe oh, I don't know possibly we are not far off enough wall for um, for Eric's contract um, Eric Belsinger who had the wool issues with the um, orange dye going all over theirs um, I think we've got another full pallet so we're at 10,000 litres and the next pallet is starting to fill, so we're not going to be far off. Once we hit that pallet, and I've got 12,000, I'll take that off and we'll sell it. And that'll be Eric's contract completed, but we're not quite there yet on that. And like I said, as far as selling the pigs down at the diner to um, Barris, to be then shipped on to Taco Farmer, I'm going to wait till I've got a load more. Because the longer I can leave them in the pen and reproducing, the more that are in there, the quicker they reproduce. So it makes sense to leave them in there rather than keep selling every few I get because it makes that just makes more sense. Whoa that was close to that fence. Way close than I thought it was gonna be oh actually close the cover. Right uh let's back this up. Back it up open it up. See how close I am to being right not bad, not bad, I'm happy with that. Right, let's back that up. Couple of passes and we should be alright. And we're going to get be able to get onto the edge without hitting that... F oh, I've hit the fence post. Not to worry, right. Turn it on. Drop it down. Off the fence. <laughs> going to get right to the edge. And there we go. Oil seed radish going in the ground. So that's going to be the second of the fertiliser states. Once that grows, after one growth stage and comes through the ground, we've got shoots. Um, we will then come and cultivate that in, which will give us the next one. No, this is, yeah, that will give us the second. Um, and then we'll get the corn in the ground, because we should be in the corn planting season by then. 
When the corn goes in the ground, stop there. Where is it up? Uh, when the corn goes in the ground, we'll wait for that to come through the ground, and then I suppose we could weed it rather than manure because weeding is it's organic. It's not. I'm not using anything. I don't know whether that's going to be okay because you know. So technically, he meant I could use slurry or manure because weeding's not going to have any effect, is it? So I could weed it. And that'll be the three, regardless. Whichever. I mean, at the end of the day, it'll get done. So that's the main thing, isn't it? Surely it is, isn't it? So, yes. Come on, take the fence again. Oh, blimey. To come back around and do these little edge bits. Oh, the fence post. Raise it. Isn't straight enough with the tractor. That's better. Drop it down. Now, can I swing it round? Oh, I should have done that. That was better. A little bit of a sweep. I'm going to hit the fence, aren't I? <laughs> Yep. I don't think I'm going to get this done in two passes. I think it's not going to quite meet, is it? Can we get that over far enough that we meet in the middle? And just do it in two. Straighten that. Oh, it's so close. No, no, I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, right, well, with that, we're nearly there. We've come to the end of another episode. Field prep continues. This one's working out actually all right. Hopefully, in the next episode we're going to be on to late spring, so uh, we'll be able to then start seeding proper. We'll have the wool sorted out for Eric's contract. Hopefully, I've hit the fence again. Way too close. <sighs> it's a trouble with fenced-in enclosures. Well, that's why it's an enclosure, isn't it? Because it's fenced in. Um, yeah, so we got a few more jobs coming up in the next episodes. Um, not far off, but will be poplars. They're on their last growth stage. I think they're at seventy-five percent full. I checked those with the um, the Wopster. Um, so yeah, loads more coming. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching